Hey guys, it's Jim. Hope you're doing well today. I've got a little photo from Prague. I got back from that trip uh, recently. Uh, spent uh, nearly a week in Prague. Took a ton of photos. Uh, but one morning I got up and went uh, walking out on the uh, on the Charles Bridge and shot around there uh, through sunrise and, and you know, kind of blue hour before that. And this is a photo I, I worked on and uh, I love it, to be honest. It's just, a, I think, a beautiful photo. And uh, it's very hard to get this scene empty because during the daytime it's crowded, at sunset it's crowded, but at sunrise it's blissfully empty. And so uh, I was firing away very happily and I thought I'd share a little video because most of my videos are either here's an Aurora HDR photo and what I do or you know here's a Luminar photo and what I do. But this one I'm going to use both. Uh, I like to build my HDRs in Aurora, do some minor edits and tweaks there, and then take them over to Luminar and uh, do some sort of stylizing. So this is the base uh, HDR and let me show you the, uh, this will be the middle exposure. So you can see it's quite different already, which I like. And all I'm really going to do here is just, I'm just going to go denoise the sky now that I've got the, the tone mapped image all together. So I love uh, the uh, the noise reduction in, uh, in Aurora. Let me uh, bring this down to size. Uh, now I'm going to go paint it into the sky. And let me do that here real quick. Boom, just kind of wiping this. Uh, and I'm doing it kind of rough because I don't want to bore you to death while you're watching me, you know, just apply a filter here. So let me do this. Oh, phone's ringing. Don't have time. Um, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, just about got it. Let me look one more time. Uh, I think that looks good. I mean, it's, it's much more vibrant. Uh, and I'm not talking about the sky, just the photo. Uh, as compared to the, uh, you know, sort of the base uh, center exposure, way better, right? So let me do that. Now you get this handy little button, you click, take it over to Luminar, and I'm doing a little stylizing in Luminar to sort of get it looking the way I want. So give that a second while it gets over there. And uh, as you can see, this street is empty. I mean, I just, uh, I'm, I love it. I, I just love it. It's a great city. In fact, I wrote a blog post on my blog if you wanted to read it about the best places to take photos in uh, in Prague. So you can you can find that if you're ever visiting, by all means, uh, go take a look. So here we go. Uh, now we're in Luminar, and what I'm going to do is I've got a, a preset here, and one of the reasons I do a lot of my photo editing in Luminar is just because I've spent so much time um, in Luminar building presets, and some of the packs are available for sale, as you probably know. Uh, some of them aren't because they're just uh, presets I've made, and that's a little crazy, so I'm going to take this down to about like that. Uh, but, um, uh, you know, I use the presets, that's why I build them, and so it gives me the opportunity just to go apply them to my own photos, which I do pretty much every day. So, I like this preset, it's a little grungy, but I softened it a bit, and I'm also, I'm going to go layer mask this, and so I'm going to up my opacity to 100, and or 96, here we go, 100, and I'm just going to go paint this preset uh, onto the portion of the photo that I want it to apply to, which is basically uh, not these walls here and not the sky, but it's basically all the buildings and sort of the, the pavers or the cobblestone streets. So I'm going to go do that here. Give me just a second while I try to brush this in. And let me take a look at it. Yeah, I knew I'd miss a spot or two. I always do, especially when I'm talking. So uh, that's, you know, that's a rough mask. I would go a little slower and get a little bit more detailed, but for purposes of the video, I think that covers it. So I think that's looking pretty cool. Let me get back into the, uh, the hand mode, show you the before and after, right? It's a uh, it's fairly noticeable difference, but I'm going to make a few more changes. Uh, I'm going to go add a new layer. I want to apply a couple of uh, sort of global adjustments. So I'm going to go, let me see here. I'm going to go to golden hour and I'm gonna get HSL and I'm gonna get tone so golden hour let me go back to this I just want to give it a bit of warmth right I want to bring up some of the color a little bit uh, sort of the warmth especially um, I think that helps it's giving it a little bit more warmth yeah if there's the before there's the after not quite as blue um, however the blue is kind of bugging me so that's where I go into HSL and under the saturation here, I'm just going to take the blue saturation down a little bit. I'm actually going to take the luminance down as well. 
I think that looks better. So let me show you the before and after of HSL. You can see how how blue this guy was, and you know sometimes it does look like that, but but not always. So um, I think it looked a little bit more like that. Actually, might take the saturation of the yellow and orange down just a tiny bit, and maybe a little bit of the purple and sort of magenta. I don't want to overdo the saturation. I think that looks pretty good. And then in tone, if you're not using Smart Tone, I highly recommend it. It's a slider within the tone filter, and it basically allows you to sort of smartly uh, increase the tones of the photo. So if you're dragging it to the right to brighten the photo, it really only brightens the dark parts. Uh, the stuff that's already bright, it doesn't really touch. And the opposite is also true. If you drag it to the left to darken the tones, it's only going to darken the stuff that's light. It's not going to darken the stuff that's pretty much already dark. So it's smart, right? So there's the difference there. I like that look. And that's really it for the photo. So here's the before and after. There's the base HDR with just the noise reduction. And then here's the uh, here's the final photo. Actually, might would go in here and drop the luminance a little bit more in the blue to maybe give it a tiny bit more sort of oomph. Uh, but that's about it. The only other thing I do, I see a couple of dust spots in the sky. You can just use the eraser tool and go in and pull those out pretty quick. I won't bore you by doing that in this video, but let me show you. There's the base layer with the preset uh, applied and then mask just to the buildings and the cobblestones. And then here's layer one with some additional enhancements, which included the tone filter, the HSL, and the golden hour. And that's it. One more time. There's your base HDR, and then here's your finished HDR. I think it looks cool. It was certainly magical for me to be standing there. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. And just wanted to do something a little different by combining HDR and Luminar, or Aurora and Luminar on this HDR photo. And that's it, my friends. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Adios.